Did you know that 65% of all home fire deaths happen in homes that either have no smoke alarms or the smoke alarms that are present are not working? You need working smoke alarms in your home to give you an early warning to get out in a fire. Here is some important information for you on smoke alarms from the National Fire Protection Association. When buying a smoke alarm, make sure it has the label of an independent testing laboratory. For the best protection, you should have both photoelectric and ionization type smoke alarms. A photoelectric alarm is more responsive to smoldering fires, like a fire started by a discarded cigarette. An ionization alarm is more responsive to flaming fires, such as a grease fire on the stove. There are smoke alarms available that are both photoelectric and ionization. Look for features that are important to you, such as a hush button to temporarily silence a nuisance alarm or an alarm that can be tested using the television remote control. You need a smoke alarm in every bedroom, outside each sleeping area, and on every level of your home, including the basement. Interconnect the smoke alarm so that when one sounds, they all sound. Smoke alarms can be interconnected through your electrical system by a qualified electrician, or wireless interconnected smoke alarms are now available that you can install yourself. Test all your smoke alarms at least once a month by pushing the test button like this. Replace batteries in all your smoke alarms, both hardwired and battery operated, once a year or when the alarm chirps, indicating a low battery. If your smoke alarm is more than 10 years old, it's time to replace it. Working smoke alarms in the home will give you the early warning you need to get out in a fire. Test your smoke alarms today to make sure they are working.